In this video, I'm going to show you my seven steps, how you can get started and get your first 10K in sales in your first month. My name is Robin. I have five years of e-commerce knowledge, which I'm going to break down in videos like this. So without further ado, let's get you started. The reason why I make this video is because e-commerce can be quite overwhelming to start. There are many things you need to know to run a profitable website. And therefore I made my seven steps here to shortcut your way to success. All right, let's have some fun and do the math. So if you want to go to 10 K a month and we sell products for 50 euros each, uh, we divide that uh, against each other and we just need to sell 200 products a month, right? If, if we divide 200 by 30 days, uh, you just need to sell seven products a day, right? So actually that isn't that hard. Let me show you exactly how it's done. So we do this by the concept of drop shipping. What does drop shipping mean? Uh, it means that you are the middleman. So you have the website where people buy from, but the seller from China is going to ship the product directly to the customer. So you as the seller don't have to keep the inventory. So the benefit of this is a low initial investment. You just create the website and run the marketing, but you don't have to buy the inventory. Uh, you reduce operational cost because the uh, supplier from China is going to uh, ship the product directly to your customer. So you don't have to take care of that. And the other benefit is the, that you have a wide product selection. So you can basically sell anything that's available from the suppliers and just create the marketing and the website around that to test if the products have a good market fit, right? So this is a great way to start your e-commerce journey because you have a low risk of finances. The only risk you have is the few membership and the marketing costs you have, and you can also reduce that. And I will tell you in a minute how you do that. So dropshipping is a great way to start, as I said, and I would like to explain you more in the six steps uh, ahead, uh, how you can go to 10K using this uh, framework, right? So if you, if you are ready to start with dropshipping, uh, you need to first do the research for your niche and the products, right? So there are many niches and there are many products, but I have five years of e-commerce knowledge and I uh, simplified it in the seven steps right here. So my favorite niche is to sell clothes, right? I see 85% of the people that book success right now in the e-commerce are into fashion. Uh, and my opinion, fashion is a great uh, niche to start, uh, especially if you choose the one size fits all, right? Because you then you reduce the uh, risk of returns. Uh, so here I attach to a good product what you can sell, uh, especially now with Q4 coming, it's going to be cold in Europe. So oversized sweaters are great to start with, right? Uh, the good thing is that fashion is always in trend. Uh, there's always something to sell. Uh, the only thing you need to co uh, be concerned about is the uh, returns. So make sure you have a good sizing chart. The other niche I would recommend here is the pet niche. I personally sold a lot of these bets myself and people uh, who have dogs always want to treat them well, right? So they are always looking for products. And especially nowadays, uh, the shops getting more expensive in the streets. So that's why people are looking for an online alternative to buy, right? So if you show them a nice product online, they will definitely buy it from you. So the pet uh, niche is also really great to start and it has a quite good uh, average order value, which I'm going to explain in a minute as well. The third niche I used to sell myself is in the sport niche, like everyone wants to be healthy, right? So uh, everyone needs some uh, product equipment for uh, sports uh, to keep themselves healthy and they're always willing to invest in that. So these are the top three uh, winning niches what I found for myself. Uh, you can do uh, research online. I have more videos uh, about niche research and product research. So make sure you check out my channel as well. Uh, but these are the great, great uh, niches to start uh, for your e-commerce journey. And you can do some research more about that. So step number one is understanding the concept of dropshipping. Uh, step number two is doing some product and niche research. And the reason why I say niche is because if you have a general store, it's harder to sell products. And if you have a niche store with more of the same kind of products, people can buy more from you uh, in one go. So that's why I would recommend a niche store to start with. Uh, so step number three is to create your online store, right? Let me show you how it's done. So there are basically a few ways to start your online stores. You either can go the difficult way and that's WooCommerce. Uh, it took me two years to, to understand the whole concept. Now I love it, but I would highly recommend you as a starter to use Shopify because it's really straightforward. You click in here and like within the first three days, you can have your own store. So the, the way you do that is you sign up using the link here. 
you select any of the free te uh, teams there. Uh, Shopify is a billion dollar company, so they provide really good value. So the free teams are really good to get you started. You don't need to invest in there. And I think they have a, a really nice plan right now. Uh, that is one euro a month for the first three months. So there's not a big risk there. And after that, it's like 25 or 50 euros a month. So that's also a really good price to start with. Uh, so you select any of the free teams what they offer you uh, you start the customization and you add some products what you found in step number two right for the product and then reach niche, uh, the niche researcher uh, after that you select the payment methods and the shipping uh, you need to have a company for this you cannot uh, run this without a company right so you need to uh, implement your company details to uh, unlock the payment methods so if you did that, you configure the tax um, settings in the Shopify and then you can just launch your store, right? Shopify is drag and drop. You can simply uh, make the tax with ChatGTP or you type it yourself and you can find uh, products online and use the images from there to start with. Um, so that's how you create the first Shopify website. It's really, really straightforward. It can take you maybe three days to start with uh, if you are a beginner, right? So step number four, if you created your store, you uh, selected some products that you want to sell, uh, you need to optimize for profit, right? Because profit is going to pay the bills and revenue doesn't. So the way I uh, always optimize my websites for profit is two ways. So you can either make bundles of the products. So let's say you go for the sweater, the oversized sweater, what I just saw. If you find a uh, really cozy and warm socks, you can bundle these two products and you can make a discount so people uh, like to buy this bundle right and the other way you can make more profit is by selling more of the same items so let's say you uh, sell two sweaters in a different color you can offer people like 20 percent discount or so on like many people don't do this step and that's why many people in e-commerce don't make money because their average order value uh, is low so if you do this uh, two steps, you make sure you have more profit in the pocket and that makes the snowball bigger, right? Because if you have more profit, you have more to invest in marketing and therefore you outcompete the competitors. So make sure you use uh, the volume discount and the bundle products, right? And that's why it's also very important to start a niche website because then you understand that people are interested in this kind of niche and you can sell them more of the same products in that niche, right? So you make it yourself a little bit more easier. So that was step number four, optimize for profit with bundles and volume discounts. Let me show you step number five. Step number five is to start with the marketing content, right? Because now your website is finished, you optimize it for profit. It's time to create some good marketing content to use later in your advertisement. Uh, I always recommend Canva. You can start it for free, but I highly recommend to invest $10 a month in the premium version of Canva. So you unlock all uh, possibilities there. Uh, first of all, you can create photos and videos there. Uh, and I always like to use uh, photos or carousels to start with, especially if your products don't need any explanations, uh, sorry, explanations. Uh, then you can just uh, make photos and make a carousel in the ad advertising in one step uh, lower, what I'm going to explain. Uh, so make sure you uh, pick one of the templates they have there, uh, implement your product photos in there and be creative, right? So you can also uh, make videos there, but I don't recommend videos to start with because it's more difficult and the advertisement money you need to make a videos work is also a little bit higher. So if you're just starting out, make sure you find some photos online, you edit them with Canva for your own uh, style and your own uh, website, and you can use that to uh, kickstart your way in the marketing. So if, you, uh, if your content is ready in step number five, you can start uh, running ads, right? So I always uh, start with Facebook or Meta, as I should say, uh, with photos and carousels, as I just explained. So let's say you pick the sweater, what I uh, selected above, you can create any nice carousel like this uh, by simply finding the products online. online. And you can make any text on the images with Canva for free. Uh, and therefore you can have a good looking carousel, something like this. But if your f um, products need more explanation, you can create a video with Canva as well. And you can create the video format in Facebook ads. So you either have two options. You go with a single photo, you go with a carousel or you go with a video. Uh, but my, I prefer like photos or carousel because they're quite simple. And if your product don't need explanation, you don't need to make a video because the advertisement cost will be slightly higher, right? So we always start with uh, running Facebook ads. I will attach the link right here so, so you can click on there and shortcut your way. But it's business.facebook.com to get started. Uh, you need a Facebook profile and after that you're good to go, right? 
So here you can start creating uh, your, your ads. Uh, and if you have a good average order value, you have enough money to pay for the marketing if you sell products as well. So uh, the other good uh, blog article what I found about carousels right here. So you can click on there if you want to know more about carousel ads, right? So that was step number, step number six. So step number seven is of course to find a supplier, right? So if you are starting to sell the products online using dropshipping, you need to find a supplier to send your products to the customers, right? Because you are not going to do it. You don't invest in the stock uh, on the forehand. So make sure you find a good supplier. So Shopify uh, itself has a list of 13 suppliers, what you can use. But my favorite one is CG Dropshipping. They ship to all Europe with a fast shipping method and they have a wide variety of many products, right? So you can basically uh, select any of the products what they have there. You implement them on your website, you create ads with Canva, and then you start selling this product. And if the product don't sell, you just select another one, right? Because you don't have any inventory, so you're kind of flexible of what you're doing. So you can use CD, CG dropshipping uh, to make sure that you have the first products and you can ship them out to your customer. They also have a Shopify application which you can install in your Shopify store. And that's why it's also great to use Shopify because it integrates seamlessly with all the platforms you need because they are simply the biggest one to make your website. All right. I hope these seven steps makes it more easy for you to get started. It's less overwhelming if you just follow the steps right here. You can simply go to 10k uh, a month using the simple framework as I said. So let's say if you sell this sweater for 50 euro, you just need to sell seven a day to go to 10k, right? And if you have 20 to 30% profit margin, that's already two to 3k a month for you with just one simple product and a simple Shopify store running on some Facebook ads. All right, I hope this video was valuable for you. If it, if it was, make sure you subscribe on my YouTube channel so I can make more videos like this. And if you have any questions about these seven steps, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter. Uh, I'm always happy to help and move the needle forward with my e-commerce experience. Uh, with that being said, I hope you have an amazing day and see you in the next video. My name was Robin and I see you in the next one. Ciao.